Lots of face-to-face -face meetings, sit-downs, phone calls, and briefing books. There's a lot involved in turning over an operation as big as City of Pittsburgh government, and the preparations have been underway, and it's now launched. Ed Ganey and his team have two months to prepare to take the wheel of Pittsburgh government. Mayor Peduto's chief of staff, Dan Gilman, says the mayor's office is already working with Mayor-elect Ganey's team. The important part is for people to know it started right away. Um, I was in communication with their team on election night. The mayor and Mayor-elect Ganey were in communication on election night, and we already had a face-to-face -face meeting yesterday. Uh, so we'll make sure that that great momentum continues straight through uh, his swearing in on January 3rd. Pittsburgh government involves more than 3,000 employees, a more than $750 million budget, and essential services for Pittsburghers. Ganey and his team say they are organizing the process and personnel of his transition effort and will be announcing further details in the coming days. Gilman says transition briefing books have been in the works for months. There's a lot. Running government is incredibly complicated. There's a lot of behind the scenes and how the sausage making works. Thankfully, the vast majority of our 3,300 employees stay on through these transitions and the wheels of government keep going. State Representative Jake Weekly confirmed to me directly he is personally working to help the Ganey transition effort and work to implement Ed Ganey's vision. Weekly tells me he anticipates stepping down early next year from his own elected office to be a part of the Ganey administration team. And that the transition is smooth, uh, that it sets him, him up to be successful from day one and able to implement a vision that he has outlined and that the public has voted for, for the betterment of all of Pittsburgh uh, and his leadership of the city. And the Ganey teams emailed me saying the mayor-elect is grateful to Mayor Peduto and his staff for their partnership and cooperation in this important process. Reporting live downtown at the City County Building, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.